Hey everybody, it's Nick here. Have you ever heard of internet radio? Not everybody has, but you know what? It's so much better than commercial radio. Stay tuned, I'll tell you exactly why it just blows away commercial radio for so many reasons. So what's the difference between commercial radio and internet radio? Commercial radio, to me, is something that I only listen to in my car and I never listen to commercial radio. But they have so many commercials in there. I have like five minutes of songs, 20 minutes of commercials, and then it's the same 15 songs over and over and over again. So if I miss a show in the morning, if somebody said, oh, did you hear the show this morning? It was funny, they did all these things. You can never go back and hear them because they're over and done with. And then the only time you can really listen to it is in, is in your car. I mean, I don't listen to commercial. Does anybody listen to that stuff in their house? Internet radio. Internet radio is much different. First of all, there's no regulations for FCC, so you can pretty much do what you want say what you want. There are so many radio stations cropping up all over the place. There's a few really, really good radio stations in Detroit. Cave Radio in Detroit is my favorite. Now in Detroit, actually, it was a co-host on two different shows. I was a co-host on The Ruckus Show, and I was also a co-host on The Static, one of which was a live performance show where we did all kinds of crazy things for two hours. and had a lot of performances from some excellent people all the way from the Detroit area, regionally, nationally, and even a couple people over from Europe, if I remember, that I had on the show. The Static was a little bit more of a podcast. We recorded earlier in the week. I could mix it, uh, do all kinds of different things with it, add sound effects, soundtracks to get it a nice, get it to be a nice polished uh, production, and actually have it uploaded and play live on the radio. And because of those two different things you can do with internet radio, you can either have a live show or like a podcast that launches at a certain time. It's uh, it's very very cool. You can get your message out to a lot of people. Now let's take a minute and talk about Cave Radio. Cave Radio is an internet radio station in Detroit. It's actually in Redford. It's a little bit west uh, on the west side of the city, and they have a lot of different shows. As a matter of fact, they expanded not too long ago to actually include more of a sports channel. There's a lot of live performances that you'll see on there. The the DJs and the uh, the hosts are always really great. It's always like a fun party environment. Any kind of topic you can think of from self-help to uh, overcoming addiction to live bands to performances to just crazy stuff to things that are going around in Detroit to tech talk to outdoorsman stuff. Almost any cool topic you can think of, there's going to be some kind of show on Cave Radio that either has done it, is doing it now, or will be doing it soon. Another cool thing is that it's very accessible to people. Very, very hard to get your music played on like a commercial radio station. You have to either pay a lot of money or, or, or get to a certain level. Uh, internet radio, you can actually reach much far. You can reach globally instantly. Everything's a podcast after you play it, so you can always go back and listen to the old radio stations. You just have such a bigger reach than commercial radio. The, I, I can't see commercial radio lasting very long with, with, the, with the way internet radio is nowadays. So if you haven't checked into internet radio, I recommend it. If you're in Detroit, or even if you're not in Detroit, I would recommend listening to Cave Radio. I'll have some links in the description for different internet radio stations, both around Detroit and kind of regionally, just certain things that I've seen. In any case, that's my take on internet radio and Cave Radio in Detroit. Leave me a message in the comments, let me know what you thought. If you want me to cover any more about radio stations in Detroit, internet radio, and about cave radio, which I'll probably have sometime in the future, that's about it. You guys have a great day and rock on.